Bonjour la classe, ça va? Today I wanted to talk to you about something very special that's going to happen during, um, that has happened during our holiday in half term. It's called Mardi Gras. So you can see on uh, my PowerPoint, Mardi Gras et le carnaval. So, what does Mardi Gras mean, do you think? Maybe you have recognized the word Mardi, which is Tuesday, you're right. And Gras means fat. <laughs> I explain. So the meaning is Fat Tuesday. Indeed, Mardi Gras is the French for Shrove Tuesday. It has the same meaning and the same religious origins. It's always on the Tuesday preceding Ash Wednesday, which is the start of Lent. Lent is Carême in French. So Christians were not supposed to eat any meat and eggs during the 40 days of Lent, ending on Easter. That's why on Shrove Tuesday, or Mardi Gras, we eat a lot of really good and fat food like crepe, gâteau, cakes, um, Donuts, beignets, and all sorts. I'll come back to that. Because we need to be good during Lent. And what about the Carnaval? Carnaval comes from the Italian word Carnevale, meaning goodbye to the flesh. So this is related to Mardi Gras. That's why we celebrate both on the same day in France. We dress in costumes, les costumes, put makeup on, put a lot of beautiful masks and eat lots of nice food. And we go out in the streets and have a lot of parades. So you can see some picture here of beautiful masks. Um, or costume, uh, you can see a lot of um, carts with a lot of people dressed up as everything in the streets and they're parading in the streets dressed up and there's a lot of music going on. Um, it's a lot of fun. When I was little, I remember one that has happened where my brother and me, we were both uh, dressed up. I was dressed up as le petit chaperon rouge. This is little red uh, riding hood, isn't it? And my brother was dressed up as a little devil. <laughs> he has little horns, le petit corn. And my brother won the competition because sometimes there's a competition, like a contest for the best costume. So I remember that day, he won a beautiful toy. I can't remember what it was, but um, so it's a, it's a day of celebration in France. We eat a lot of nice food, very fat food, like crepe. So look at the spelling, regarde comment ça s'écrit. Crepe. Des gaufres. Des beignets, which is like donuts. Et bien sûr, of course, des bonbons. Miam, miam. Um, the most famous carnaval in France is probably the Carnaval de Nice. Nice is a city in the south of France. 
where millions of people come every year to um, attend the carnival. There's a lot of people, as you can see on these pictures, lots of people in the streets to come and see all the music and all the costume and all the mask. Um, you can see there a view from the sky, so you can see how busy it is. And you can see all the big cars with all the big giant um, characters who, are, who represent different um, characters, different costumes. So it's all very colorful, the carnaval. So today we, we've learned a little bit more about uh, Mardi Gras. Miss Morton has put on a very useful um, PowerPoint to tell you everything about uh, Mardi Gras and the Carnaval. But I just wanted to tell you myself and tell you a little story about when I was a little child. Um, but everything is in the PowerPoint that Miss Morton said. Uh, get sent you and also you you can create your own mask so you can go back to uh, some examples on the PowerPoint I can show you yeah so you could go back and take example of these masks or create your own so there will be um, a pattern put in the PowerPoint for you to print off or you can draw your own and then you're going to have to create a poster about Mardi Gras and Le Carnaval. And I would like you to use some French words. So today we learn costume, we learn mask, we learn um, all the food, like crêpe, beignet, gaufre, bonbon. So you can use all these words, carnaval, parade, and uh, create your own poster. Voilà. Merci la classe. Au revoir.